Local mixed martial artist Chelsea Hackett is primed for a shot at the big time. Speaking exclusively to 7 News, she's revealed that she could be fighting in the UFC by the end of the year. Yeah, I make decisions to glow. Ridiculous flow, potential to glow. You know, I, I just do that. Consolidate my regions, line it up, put them together. Anyone that ever let me down, forget them forever. My memory's bad. Remember me, though? My memory's gone. My memory, it limits me home. No tree huggers, cause all the lumber's gone. Niggas knocking on wood. Pass through the hood when it's good, and they chopping up wood. Breaking up stems till in my brim with a limp like a pimp. So, this is officially the start of. Vlog number two. Um, I'm so excited and happy, happy how vlog number one went. Thank you so much for the feedback and the support. Um, this is my mom. Hello. We are currently just walking to the shop, going to get a coffee. We just finished. We just finished um, kickboxing. Kickboxing class went awesome. Good turnout. Good energy. Everyone was just on and I loved it. Look who decided to join me today. Hello. Hello. Are you training? Yep. Can, uh, can you get it on? Good boy. <clears throat> so we are at moment. <laughs> <laughs> We're at moment. <laughs> I can't do it! Well, I can switch on Okay, girls. so, Momentum, and this is Coach Wade. He's my SNC coach. And you have been for, shit, like five years now. Long time. Yeah. Long time. So about five years. I think I started when I was 16. Um, and I'm now 21. So, yeah, we've on a, been on a fucking journey for five years. Good um, times. Good times. So we're in fight camp now. We are eight, exactly eight weeks out. Yep. Um, tell, our, tell them what we're doing, what phase we're in. Right, so we're just starting from scratch. Last week was sort of week one. We didn't really count last week. We're yeah. sort of getting back into that adaption phase. Yeah. So my goal early on is to not break Chelsea Hackett in week one or two. We want to get through that, allow yeah. the body to come back after a uh, fairly solid Christmas break there. We yeah. enjoyed ourselves over Christmas. So yeah. we just want to tick some boxes in those first couple of weeks. Yeah. Get some volume in, by volume I mean, over a week we want to try and get plenty of reps plenty of sets um, so that the total volume we cover in that week is, is high um, without too much damage on the body so yeah yeah just uh, keeping keeping the loading pretty low and the volume high is our, our aim in these first couple of weeks I've like, burnt the verses in my shoulders go real bad and my third loss yeah. and then straight after the fight dad was like we're getting you an SNC coach you've got to get stronger and then went away, and we haven't lost since. Are you been... again, hey? No. Oh, okay. No, we didn't do a rematch. But yeah, in five years, since starting with Wade, I haven't lost a fight. And I've fucking been stronger than everyone. Haven't I? We don't lose! <laughs> we don't lose. Session done. That was a really good session. Easy one, yeah. Easy. Yeah, yeah. So hard. Starting off from scratch. What the fuck? Just tick the boxes. Week one, week two. No, I feel like we did so much in that session. That was good. I'm happy. We are back here on Friday, but yep. I have a session on Wednesday, so yep. I'll do that um, by myself. Tick some boxes on Wednesday. Yeah, and then I've got another hundred sessions in between. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. No, that's all. Right. Have you uh, have you got any ideas of when you'll be jumping in next? Yeah. So March seven is the date. Yeah. Um, and it is on the Gold Coast, which is awesome. I, Excellent. Yeah, I'm just waiting for confirmation with an opponent. So. Mm. 
Okay, so we are back at the gym. It is three o'clock. Um, I just had a nap. And then I'll do pads now with dad. We are gonna try and get heaps of rounds in, but lower um, the time. So um, obviously I fight five minute rounds, but today we are doing three minute rounds just to like get my fitness back. Um, but we'll do like eight to 10. Yep. Higher intensity. Yeah, more intense. Um, yeah. 30 to 45 second breaks, so pretty quick changeovers. And we'll do that. 30 second breaks. Not 45 seconds. 30 second breaks. Um, we'll do that and then um, I have clients and then I have two classes and then I have rolling. So pretty jam packed afternoon. But we'll get it started with pads. I've got my pre workout. Fact, did you know coffee is the best pre-workout? Do I know? I've known that for 40 years. That's old school. So it's just working, more so conditioning, um, to really like pump my fitness back up. Quickest way to do it is incorporating bag into your pads. So we're on three minute rounds, one minute bag, one minute pads, one minute bag, 30 second breaks. So not much time to recover. Back. Back on down. So we are on our way to Combat Training Centre. Um, this morning I have a interview with Channel 7, so super exciting. They did a story on me only like two or three months ago, straight after one of my fights. Um, and yeah, they just called me yesterday, I want to do another story based around this year and my goals and you know, talking about what's happening. So we're just gonna go there now. Um, I want some training footage, so I'll do some jiu-jitsu with Jesse, one of my coaches, and then some pads with my dad. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys watched it. When you watch this, you would have watched the Channel 7 segment. Um, yeah, it's gonna be cool, I'm so excited. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, good. Everyone, this is me. How you going, man? Been well? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, it has been. Do you have any other gear you need? Ah, uh, no, this is gear. Coming into this one, I, do you feel that base? Like, has yeah, it been yeah. easier? So, to prep me for the next, you know, for the last four weeks before the fight, and that's when I'm on and I'm switched on, I'm ready, my weight's perfect. How'd you go? Good. I felt way more confident. Yeah. yeah. So cool because like when I talk about like the future and whatever I just like get so excited and like goosebumps. Yeah, it's so you cool. get all sweaty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'll get you to take it off. Yeah. Do it again. I'm just getting the water. Yeah. If we get some jit stuff, like wrestling, yeah. I can do it on Jake. Yes, wait, Jake, you just got to pretend to fall. Yep. You're 105 kilos. <laughs> just collapse. Make me look good. Yep, no worries. That's fine, bit of a workout. 
Okay, so I just finished work for the afternoon, did some PTs, did some work on the computer, and it's now 4.30 and I'm at Puma. I'm just about to get some sparring in. So yeah, it's gonna be an epic session. Tuesdays and Thursdays are really full on. Um, we do heaps of, round of rounds of sparring and wall work. It's a roughly an hour and a half session. So super key. Let's go. That is officially a wrap for my second YouTube vlog. I just wanted to say a massive thank you for the support and the reaction from my first video was amazing and I, I didn't expect it at all. So I just want to say thank you so much and it's so awesome to know that you guys are really interested in my life and my fight camps and my journey pretty much so it wouldn't be possible without your support so i really really appreciate it i hope you enjoyed this vlog i was super excited to get this one out lots of exciting things happen my channel seven little burst um, on the news and training this week has been hectic so there was a few sessions in there that you could uh, watch and yeah i think it was just overall a really exciting vlog there was no cooking so that's a bonus for you guys um but yeah thank you again from the bottom of my heart for the support and cannot wait to the, for the next one we're just going to keep mixing it up um i still want feedback so please guys whatever you want to see on my channel dm me comment on my instagram post i will see it and i will try my best to get it all out for you guys obviously i don't want to show everything but i will show a uh, majority of my life so thanks again and stay tuned for the next one see you soon Local mixed martial artist Chelsea Hackett is primed for a shot at the big time. Speaking exclusively to 7 News, she's revealed that she could be fighting in the UFC by the end of the year. Chelsea's debut year formed a highlights reel most fighters could only dream of. Women's flyweight division, and down goes Nicole again. She looks Ooh. hurt there. So it's no surprise the world's top mixed martial arts promotion has taken notice. There's definitely uh, sources in the UFC that have contacted my team. It's crazy because it was a dream. While the exact details of those conversations remain secret, Seven News can reveal a UFC contract awaits if she ends the year undefeated. That is my goal. Even better, finish the year with the UFC fight. And whether it's October or December, I do think it, it's, it's going to happen. Reaching that goal means a very busy year in the cage, something a brutal 2019 has prepared her for. Five preps for uh, three fights. And that's, a, that's a massive tax on, on, on your body, but she's come through it well. A three-time kickboxing world champion, Chelsea's other aim is to raise her ground game to the gold standard of her striking. I just want to be a dominant fighter, standing up, wrestling on the ground. Um, I want to win everywhere. Her UFC campaign begins when she enters the cage again in early March and Dad will make sure she does so with a level head. You've got to be careful though to not focus on the destination and trip over the speed bumps. Mitchell Crone, 7 Gold Coast News.